big head. You are going to teach me chemistry test. I didn't have time to read. You know my name is not big head. Why are you calling me that? I can call you anything I like. I don't even like your name. What is Tola? I am changing my seat. You won't try it. If you insist, just get ready for the beating of a lifetime. I am going to report you. What is wrong with you? What is going on there? Tola and Zane, what is going on? We are just playing Mrs. Anne. Why are you lying? Shut up. You are lucky it's lunch break. Timothy, I think I'll move to your class. Why? Zane is a bully. He bullies me all the time. Have you reported him? No. I am scared of him. You need to report him to the school authority. You are not his only victim. Really? Yes. Are you ready for tomorrow's presentation? Presentation? I am not ready for it. Can you tell Kemi or any other person? But Daniela, you were told since last week. I can't get someone else to do the presentation in less than 24 hours. Sorry Paul, but there is nothing I can do. My hands are full at the moment. Why can't you take it? I didn't prepare for it. Less than 24 hours to make a slide presentation. I am not a machine. I can't do it. I don't know what else to say. Sorry. Kemi, how are you? I am fine. And you? I am good. You are always in a happy mood. God is faithful. Please I have a request. Can you please take the market analysis presentation tomorrow? Tomorrow? Why are you just telling me? Tomorrow is too soon. Daniela was supposed to take it. She just told me that she won't be able to. Okay then. I am not promising excellence but I'll try my best. You are the best Kemi. Thank you so much. How was work babe? Work was fine but I have a presentation tomorrow. I was informed today. Don't worry babe. We can do it together. Really? Yes. Thank you darling. With this, we are expected to dominate the market by 45%. We also need to improve our brand recognition and awareness through advertising. I am impressed. Thank you so much, Kemi. Daniela, guess what? What? The CEO liked my presentation. Really? What is so special about that? I make presentations all the time and you don't see me jumping around the office. What was so special about your presentation anyway? I thought we are office friends. Oh, Kemi. I'm so happy for you. Is that what you want? Sorry I called you to share my good news with you. You can go. That is what you call good news? I bet you have never received good news before. You know I was given an official car last year. That is an example of good news. When you have a real good news, you can call me. Don't mind her, Kemi. Congratulations. I know the CEO and the board are not easy to impress. You did a great job. Thanks, Paul. There is a file I want to review but I do not understand some parts. Can you help me? Sure. I can. Thanks, Kemi. Home sweet home. What a day. Lord, I thank you for a wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for a wonderful presentation. Thank you for granting me favor with the board. That is the school bus. My baby is back from school. Mom, how was work? Work was fine, son. How was school? School was okay. It doesn't sound like it was okay what happened. This boy is always trying to get me into trouble. How? He always asked me for answers during test. You thought me that telling someone answer during a test isn't helping but destroying the person's life. Yes, I said that. You can teach the person during break time or inside the school bus. You can't teach or give answers during test or exams. Aside that, if you're caught, you'll both get into trouble. That was what I told him. He bullies me and calls me names. Stand your ground. I am coming to your school tomorrow. Don't worry, Mom. It is not necessary. It is. That child should be cautioned. I don't want him to grow into an irresponsible human being. 
Okay, Mum. If you insist. Is Dad back? No. He is not. Okay, Mum. I want to eat and sleep then wake up at night to do my assignment and study my Bible. Okay, son. Mum. I'm hungry. Is that how to greet your mum? Greeting is not compulsory. I saw you this morning. Oh, I see. Sometimes you behave like your stupid father. Your food is in the microwave. Maybe I'm behaving like you. What did you say? Nothing. It better be nothing. I hate working with Kimmy. Why is she always getting favors? She got to the organization last year and she has been promoted three times. With the rate at which she is going, she will soon get to my level. Never. It is not going to happen. I have to be promoted as soon as possible. I have only been promoted twice in five years. I am way better than her. What evil are you plotting wicked witch? Are you in your right senses? Who are you calling a witch? That is what someone who does not want the progress of another person is called. Daniela, you are a witch. Very soon, you'll start sucking human blood and flying at night. Maybe I should order wings for you on Amazon. Pius, warn yourself. You slapped me? I know you've been planning to kill me for a very long time. Here is your golden opportunity. Do it. So I can get locked up in jail, right? Stupid man. I won't fall for it. Why was I born in this type of family? Must they fight every day? I am tired. Why did I receive a call from your school? What did you do this time? I didn't do anything. Really? Yes. No problem. Let's go. What are you doing here? This is my son's school. Oh. I see. So you have money to pay the expensive tuition. My son also attends this school. God is our provider. Excuse me, I am here to see my son's teacher. You came to see ordinary teacher. The headmaster specially invited me. Mrs. Daniela Price, this is the fourth time we are calling you on the issue of bully. We have tried our best as a school. We have received several calls from the parents of the student Zane bullied. We hereby advise you to take Zane to another school. Headmaster, please. I don't know where to take him to. He will change. I know he can change but let it be in another school. We can no longer tolerate his attitude. Two of our best students left because of him. Okay thanks. Good morning Mrs. N. I am here to see you. I am Mrs. Kemi Williams. Good morning Mrs. Kemi Williams. Toll is mum right? Exactly. My son is being bullied by one of his classmates named Zane. I was told he also bullies other students. That is actually correct. That is Zane Price. He had master invited his mom already. He is leaving the school. We are very sorry. We are going to try our best as a school. It won't happen again. His surname is Price? Wow that must be Daniela's son. I'll be on my way now. Alright madam. So this is how you have finally decided to disgrace me. What am I supposed to do with you now? How am I supposed to get you into another school? But... But what? I am late for work. Just get out of my car. I don't want to get angry this morning. Where should I go to? Home. Take the bus and go home. Congratulations, Kemi. Congratulations? On what? Have you not heard? Heard what? The CEO should call you any moment from now. Congratulations, Kemi. The CEO wants to see you in his office. Can you give me a hint? What is really happening? It is good news. Go and see him. You are one of our best staff in this organization. You are selfless and brilliant. The board has decided to make you the manager of marketing. Congratulations. Wow. I was not expecting this. Thank you so much. That is not all. You're getting a brand new SUV. I am short of words. Thank you so much, sir. God has done it. He has done what no man can do. My God is so good to me. Hallelujah. Why is she dancing? What is going on? She just got promoted. 
she is now the new marketing manager. She also got the latest SUV. You don't mean it. I have been in this organization for over five years. Am I a cashew tree? At least a cashew tree is fruitful. All you do is complain. The last presentation I gave to you, what did you do to it? Oh. Please. Just get out of my sight. Daniela, guess what? You got a car and you got promoted so what? Rejoice with others so you can receive your own good news. This is what you call good news? You torment me at work while your son does same to my son at school. What is going on with you Daniela? Now your son has been suspended. You need Jesus Daniela. Don't talk to me about Jesus. I am fine. No you're not. You need help. Kemi, leave me alone. Enjoy your perfect life. I am not perfect. Jesus is the one helping me and my family. Let him help you too. I am going home. Where is my son? I am just getting home. How am I supposed to know? Check his room. I have been home for over two hours. He is not at home. He was given indefinite suspension for bullying today. We have to look for another school. Well done. You have succeeded in transferring your bullying spirit to him. I don't have your time. I want to go and look for my son. I'll rather stay here than to go home. All I see my parents do is fight. I can't even go to school anymore. I wish I had different parents. Timothy. I am worried about Zane. I heard he left home a week ago. He is nowhere to be found. Really? Has it been reported at the police station? Yes. I asked my mom. His mom works in the same organization with my mom. This is serious. What can we do? The only thing we can do right now is to pray for him. I have been praying for him since he got suspended. Dear God, we thank you because you are a good and merciful father. We pray that you have mercy on Zane and keep him from every evil and let him find refuge under your wings Lord in Jesus name. Amen. We pray that he returns home safely in Jesus name. Amen. We pray that his heart is open to receive God's word in Jesus name. And we pray that he becomes a wonderful instrument in your hand Lord in Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you Timothy. Daniela, I can see you've been going through a lot. You don't look like you anymore. Daniela, please allow God to help you. God wants to help you and your family. He wants to bring your son back home. Please Daniela, give God a chance. Allow him into your life. He wants to take the burden off your heart. He said in this word in Matthew 11, 28-30 that come unto me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. How can you be nice to me despite how I have treated you? Because Jesus died for me despite my shortcomings. Jesus taught me how to love. He also wants to teach you how to love. How can he take the burden away and teach me how to love? I want my son to come back home. I want to have a happy family. Accept his love for you by receiving him as your Lord and Savior. Believe that he died for your sins, and confess your sins to him. Kemi, I have been jealous of you since the day you stepped into this office. The way you talk about your husband and son. My family is not like that and I wish I have that type of family. You are always happy and ready to help. You receive favors all the time. All you see is because I have Jesus. I and my family are nothing without him. Accepting Jesus is also the only way to make heaven after our journey on this earth. I am ready to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. How long have you been there? Over a week. Your parents already came to the police station to report your disappearance. They did. Yes. Police officer. Did you see my son? Yes. He is in the car. You will sign some papers before I release him to you. Thank you so much. My son. I am sorry for everything. I have been a bad example and a bad mother. 
It's okay, Mum. I met the Lord Jesus. Some people met me yesterday and preached to me. I also want you and Dad to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. My son, I have. I believe your dad will. Thank you Jesus for bringing my son back home.